Welcome to the July Spotlight on Annuities, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and insightful research. This Spotlight on Annuities is sponsored by Tucker Advisory Group, teaching both clients and financial advisors powerful safe money strategies. For more information, please visit TuckerAdvisoryGroup.com. Financial institutions sold $3.3 billion in fixed and variable annuities in April, a drop of 26% since a figure of $4.4 billion the year previous. Meanwhile, fixed annuities sold by banks in April climbed 9% to $2 billion, nearly twice the $1.1 billion sold in January. However, sales in April were still 40% lower than the same period in 2009. In fact, reports indicate that fixed annuity sales were in the $1 billion to $2 billion range before the financial crisis. And now for Carlin Tucker with something you did not know. Thanks, Sarah. Hey, because of the stock market's volatility, retirees are running out of savings faster than ever before, and it creates new opportunity in our industry. Lawmakers are concerned so much so that they're proposing that annuities may be included in people's pension plans or required by 401k plans. In 2007, 17% of people had pensions, while 63% had 401k. So they're very dependent on turning their 401k into income. And that's what we can do so well in uh, the annuity arena. Nearly half or 47% of folks are expected to run out of money before they run out of life, according to a recent survey. And the average monthly Social Security benefit is $1,067. Folks need answers. They need income. And our industry is better positioned than ever before to, with these powerful income riders to meet the solutions of a volatile world that we live in. And people have always needed income, but today, worse than ever before, they need it as a result of the market taking them down and pensions being a thing of the past and 401ks being damaged. Hey, we've got the answers. Back to you, Sarah. Thanks, Carlin, for that update on the industry. The Life Insurance and Financial Planning Committee for the National Conference of Insurance Legislators has formed a new subcommittee on stranger-initiated annuity transactions. Officials say insurers in Rhode Island have filed a suit accusing the defendants of buying annuities with death benefits and using dying patients as the named applicants. The transactions appear to give investors a vehicle for earning stock market profits without facing the risk of loss of principal. The new subcommittee, who is slated to release a report at NCOIL's annual meeting in November, will study the stat market, review existing laws and rules, and report on how best to protect consumers. I am Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching this Spotlight on Annuities. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, find them on ProducersWeb.com and browse by topic.